Okay, it's not very often I'll admit to something, but I do have a vice. And I'm gonna put it right here. I'm tired of trying to hold something, especially with my wrist. I tried to ream out a, a, a handle uh, for the garage doors and twisted my wrist really badly. So $109.99 invested in my new vice. I think it's a good vice. All right, so we're gonna mount that and then I, I've wanted one here for years. So finally I've done it. doing roof wrap on the back. Ted's going to be finishing off this end. back is dried in. Now if we had some metal roofing. Just as a point of interest, after we put the ladder where we want it, we pound a grade stake in like that, so the ladder won't kick out. <sighs> Good honest work. I really enjoy doing the ladder work though. It's Builds uh, good muscles in your legs. And uh, at my age, I just need to get some good exercise, you know? <laughs> so we'll rip a little piece here. May not even do that. I don't know, might do it today. Or when the metal roofing comes, put it on uh, one way or the other. We will cover that.
This second layer, second row of uh, house wrap, is, I staple it upside down all the way across the bottom and then work it up to the peak and cut it as we go down. That works pretty good. So then we set the ladder over, we'll cut it off down there. I like to have this on before we do the rakes because then it locks, locks this on there, underneath the rake. Feel the ground shaking from them vibrate tam compacting the uh, the road as they redo it. So what are we lining up with the peak? It should just butt into the plywood. Oh, okay. Very nice. Yep. Good. Yep. A lot of people ask about the overhang. Is it strong enough? It's a one foot overhang, but when you have nailed into here and you nail the plywood, this into the plywood, it's almost like a little truss out here. It's just so strong. Uh, people are, have been concerned about it sagging over time, but there's just no way it can do that. Unless you put an elephant up there. <laughs> Apparently, I don't think elephants live in Vermont. Changing over every single house for water and sewer. Perfect. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It dropped. That's okay, yep. Yeah. Good. Yep. Yeah. Why isn't that holding? You got that a minute? I gotta go down one step. So, I don't have my tool belt on. Can I borrow your hammer? <laughs> yep. My stiletto. That's stiletto. You still call it a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how this thing swings.
And another day done. So we're all dried in. Plywood's on the roof. House wrap, roof wrap is on the roof. So if there's possibility of rain in the next day or two, we're all swept out. Looks not, you can hear the echo because it's closed in. Chad put these windows in. We'll seal them tomorrow. People door over there. Two nine by seven doors. We're picking those up in the morning. Another window. Just want to point out a little, a little trick about doors. It's very important. Typically, when you when you come in, you want to come in. The door swings so that you're going into the largest part of the room. That's typically how we do it. Also about three feet from the corner is where we like to have this edge of the door because when the door is open you don't want it hit it, hitting the garage door so it does clear that very important it, some sometimes I've, I've seen doors that are like here and and when the garage and the door is shut you look and there's a big hole from the doorknob in the door or a big dent so that that gets rid of that situation. So I think we're done for the day. Let's take a look from the outside. The rakes are all on, so we're ready to, tomorrow we're going to bend the, the white fascia trim and probably cut all the soffit then we can trim out the garage doors yeah you can feel that wind coming it's uh i think there's a, a little change in the weather so anyway hope you enjoyed this little video please leave a comment hit the like button please and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and i hope you've seen my other channel the ken's ho model railroading adventures that's been a lot of fun. It's been a blast doing that. All right, see you later.